Welcome to another episode of Arizona Living. This is gonna be a video no one else has out there on the internet. It's a list of things that nobody tells you about living in Arizona. Stay tuned. These are in no particular order. These are all my observations. Number one. There's a lot of homeless people that live in the city of Phoenix. I see them all the time. I actually work at a place in central Phoenix and I see them on the corners constantly. Another thing no one tells you, and this is something I hate, is pretty much at every exit, when you get off the highway, on that corner, right off the exit where there's a light, where you can turn left or right, there's always someone there with a little sign saying they're homeless and that they want money. And it is annoying because I know there's stuff out there that we pay for from our tax month dollars that can help people like that. But instead they go out there and they beg. And there's a few people out there I know that they don't need to do that. They, they actually, at the end of the day, when they're done getting their monies, they'll go to their car and drive home. Once in a while, I'll see you know how there's four corners? I'll see one corner where there's a homeless guy asking for money, and in the opposite corner, a guy holding a sign representing a store, spinning the sign around. And I wonder, who made more money that day? The guy spinning the sign, or the guy begging for money? Supposedly, they're, they were gonna make some sort of rule that they weren't gonna allow homeless people to do that on corners anymore but I've yet to see any changes made. Another thing that people don't talk about are the haboobs, the sandstorms that happen during monsoon season. They don't happen too often, but when they do, it's a sight to behold. You have this big, huge mass of sand that engulfs the city, and if you're driving, you can't see five feet ahead of you. But they don't last too long. They, they go through maybe, maybe a half hour at most, but they do happen from time to time. Now this is Arizona, it's a red state. People love their guns. They actually have a conceal and carry law here. So at any time, anyone could be packing, you don't know. Let's talk about racism. Very serious topic. When I lived in New York, I never felt like I had dealt with racism whatsoever. I mean, New York is a melting pot. I grew up with all sorts of ethnicities. I'm Puerto Rican. I know, I sound Italian, I grew up in an Italian neighborhood, I'm honorary Italian, all right? I actually experienced a little bit of racism here in Arizona. A lot of the people here are like, build the wall, build the wall. We don't want those Mexicans taking our jobs. You know, what, what, what jobs did they taking from you? You wanna go and work the fields? I don't think so, brother. So anyway, th th there's, there's a lot of people that don't like Mexicans for various reasons. The, and I'm not Mexican, you know? So anyway, one time <laughs> I went to and I assume he was the owner, but he kept making these comments that were not appreciated. And I could just tell that he was racist against Hispanics. I could just tell. And, and you know, it was the first time I've ever experienced anything like that. He basically was saying that all Latinos are the same. And then we're not the same. There's, the, you know, there, is there a strain from Spain that goes through all of them? Yeah, but the cultures are all different. You know, you got Cuba, you got, you know, you got Mexico, you got, there's a million different Latin countries out there. They're not all the same. There's something out there called Valley Fever. Look it up. There's something called Valley Fever that people that aren't from here can get and it makes you very, very sick. I've heard it can even lead to death. And you know, I never experienced it. My mom experienced it though. And um, it, it, you gotta look it up. I'm not a doctor. Valley fever, check it out. Another thing people don't talk about are sunspots. Here in this crazy heat, if you're not wearing a hat and sunglasses and properly put, you know, some sunscreen, you could end up with some spots on your face. Arizona has some poor air quality. I'll even get alerts on my phone about days that you can't burn wood uh, and days you shouldn't really go out if you don't have to. 
So back in the day, doctors used to recommend people move to Arizona if they had allergies. That's not the case anymore. Now on the highways, sometimes they'll say there's a silver alert. And for the longest time, I had no idea what that meant. There was also an amber alert, all these different colors, right? I've come to find out silver alert means someone has dementia and they're like on the road and they're lost. They don't know where the heck they're going. Their family's looking for them. There's a lot of old people that live here. And Amber Alert is, you know, if there's a, a, a kid, like a kidnapping type of deal. Now, it's important to note that, and I don't want to rag on older people, but a lot of the times I'll hear stories about older people driving the wrong way on the highway. That's bad. Speaking of old people and driving, a lot of them, they can't see or hear too well. So, come here, Rory. So, some people, some of the older folks can't see or hear too well. And that could be dangerous. So that's why I personally, besides having bad shoulders, why I don't want to get a motorcycle here. Look who woke up this morning. So I don't want to make it seem like I'm ragging on Arizona this whole time. Uh, I'm enjoying living here. And, uh, you know, there's some things that they don't talk about in every city. So I just wanted to tell you my perspective. So this concludes another edition of Arizona Living. Be sure to like, subscribe, and let us know below where you'd like to see us go next. Say it, Roar. Go. No? What do you mean, no? Till next time.